Prince Harry might be in a spot of bother. After being evicted from Frogmore in place of disgraced Prince Andrew, the Duke of Montecito may well be ejected from America as well. Oh, my heart bleeds. It's hilarious. <laughs> After Prince Harry opened his big mouth and admitted taking cocaine, magic mushrooms and cannabis before moving to the States in his pathetic memoir Spare, and in his recent pay-per-view therapy session with toxic trauma expert Dr Mate, an investigation is now underway to confirm whether he disclosed his drug taking when he applied for his residency permit. An admission of which usually ends with visa applicants being rejected. A fate meted out to Nigella Lawson, who admitted to taking cocaine, and Pete Doherty, the Libertines frontman, who was also banned due to his drug-related arrests. A Freedom of Information order is currently trying to obtain the details. And if Prince Harry has lied, which seems customary, he may find himself out on his big old ears. It's hilarious. <laughs> <coughs> In the meantime... To make them appear busy and seem relevant, Meghan Markle not happy with turning Harry woke, it appears has convinced her husband that masculinity is toxic and their Archwell charity has partnered with the Global Boyhood Initiative. Prince Harry, formerly a man's man, which by all counts would probably be a toxic phrase under the initiative as it claims the term boys will be boys is dangerous, Prince Harry and his dear wife's charity are supporting this organisation which go into schools peddling the notion to young children that gender is not connected to sex organs and that boyhood is fluid. The sort of tosh which, in my view, will only result in some very confused kids who grow up to be even more confused in adulthood. And two London schools have jumped on board this clap as if they haven't got anything else to do. Maybe teaching the kids? Here's a thought. How about these schools stick to maths and English, the generic subjects on the curriculum, rather than overstepping their reach and doing the job of the parents? Who wants a prince and his narcissistic wife telling the world how to live? From what I can see, they advise you to do something, do the opposite, do the opposite of what they tell you to do. They also have yet to confirm whether they're coming to the coronation. I feel sorry for the royal family having to appease these two. Are there still people who actually feel sorry for them? Come on. Surely the penny has dropped.